What I'm doing then, I put this fabric here into this, and it's like a little bit, do you know Daniel Düsenfried? It's like, a, like, a, like from somebody like back in the future who has developed this very nice tool, but it's perfect because it gives you the ability to test it 20 per stretch in each direction. So you created this, does FINA have anything that good? Yeah, FINA, uh, we developed, uh, we bought this from the supplier and they recognized that this is the best tool to right. simulate this to stretch. Exactly. Yeah. I, I assume FINA was just pulling it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it could be, but no, yeah. we are not doing it. Now it's really in each direction 20% stretch, and then you put it under the machine with a special unit, which they are saying, so Fina is saying which kind of unit you have to do. And then you put it down, and then it should be in the green area, and then you can look on the result. So it has now a value of 140, 160. 37, and it should be higher than 80. Everything which is below 80, it's too thin. It is too much, uh, give too much uh, power into the into the uh, swimming pool. And everything which is above 80 is according to FINA. So we passed it. Also, if you combine it with a lining, we tested this as a combination, it was the same. So we are here safe and getting the FINA regulation as a group on this kind of test. So a little bit complicated, but it's like FINA. It's like the same with EFB or FIFA, but they have also special regulations. So this is only one to show you. Or sometimes it's complicated to pass this, and if we have all finished, we have to send the fabric and every kind of swimsuit, like the jump, uh, jumper, and also the, the women's swimsuit to FINA. And only if you get then afterwards approval, we can continue with our development. I think that's 